to review, hydraulic jacks, based on Pascal's principle, conform to this equation. The force on one piston divided by the area of that piston is equal to the force on the other piston divided by the area of that piston, which allows you to multiply a force based on the difference in areas between these two pistons. So here's our problem. A hydraulic lift's pistons have areas as given. What minimum force is needed for us to elevate a 1,420 kilogram car with the aid of the hydraulic lift? So let's start with this equation that applies for hydraulic lifts. Let's put in the numbers that we know. The area of one of the pistons is 0 0.0254 square meters. The other area is 1.33 square meters. And we need to put this force number two up here. That force is not 1420, but is rather 1420 times g, because this 1420 is simply the mass of the car, it's not the weight, and we need the weight of the car. So if we cross multiply, solve that for F1, that tells us that we need to apply a force of 266 newtons to the smaller piston in order to lift that car, which weighs something around 14,000 newtons, which is a pretty good deal. Now the trade-off is that we have to move that force through a much bigger distance than the uh, car is going to move through. Now for this problem, let's find the pressure on each piston. Well, pressure is force divided by area. So for the small piston, the force is 266 divided by the area. That gives us roughly 10,500 pascals, but I've just changed it into kilopascals. And the pressure on the larger piston is equal to the force divided by the area. And sure enough, they have the same pressure, which is exactly what we should expect.